Today, there is a potentially hazardous situation unfolding that we've been monitoring in Canton. Yeah, let's get out to Mike Holden live for us. Uh, Mike, you were first on the scene there. You're learning a lot of information that we've been able to pass along to our viewers this morning. What's the latest? Guys, good morning to you. We remain the only station live bringing you these breaking developments out of Canton. You can see emergency responders right here over my shoulder. This one Canton fire truck as well as a couple other vehicles off in the distance. And this is all playing out along Gambranis, but you'll notice cars passing through this area. We were able to confirm through the fire chief that this is in fact a butane leak coming from one of the rail cars. However, it is contained right now. The road is open to through traffic and there is no immediate threat to the public, which is the good news. I want to take you back and show you the most active points as well as what this area looks like to really paint the picture for you folks watching at home. Now, fire and hazmat crews swarmed the Wheeling Lake Erie rail yard just before 2.30 this morning. They were called here after someone discovered a rail car leaking butane. Crews moved in and isolated the single car. That car we have since confirmed is static. Division Chief Steve Henderson confirms this is a minor slow leak. He stresses there is no threat to the public. No one injured out here. No one killed. No residential homes are in this area. So he says, thankfully, evacuations are not necessary. With the amount of product in the car and the chemical character, chemical characteristics of the car, uh, evacuation is not necessary at this time. We don't anticipate having to evacuate. Um, according to the safety data sheet, the evacuation distance for this product is a half a mile and there's no residents in the area. Um, there's isolated parts of the refinery in that half, half a mile perimeter, but no immediate danger at this time. It is contained in the So I think a lot of folks watching at home, you're initially probably sitting there and saying, oh my gosh, gas leak, chemical leak, this is definitely cause for concern. But as you just heard from the chief moments ago, everything is going to be okay. He said the next step in this process is removing that single isolated train car. So in the hours ahead, probably right around nine o'clock this morning, they're going to try to get it out of here. That should take roughly six hours. It's unclear, guys, if there will be any sort of closure. But if there would be, it would happen right here along Gambranis. Can't move around too much right now this morning because we're literally on the side of the road. We will monitor everything, though, and as soon as anything new breaks, we'll break back in. in the I'll send it back to you. Mike.